Hello everyone, Rossis here again. Today we have an inversor, me and my P40 Pro. That's right, one year passed since I owned this device. And today I will share my in-depth experience. But before we start, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please do this now and hit that bell icon so you never miss a video. Let's jump in. Alright guys, this is my P40 Pro black version. I'm using latest EMUI version, which is 11 for this device. This is Huawei P40 Pro and it has 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of internal storage and Huawei own CPU Kirin 995G. Let's start with the software. This incredible device is underrated just for one thing and this one thing is here, Google. This is the major Huawei device which first was banned by Google and it not using Google services. So we have one year without Google. Is this affecting device? Of course it is. At least it's affecting sales of this device because people are used with Google. That's it. End of story. But we as an Android community of course have plenty of ways to install Google on this device. We have the easy way like GSpace, DuoSpace, VMOS and many more. We have of course a way to downgrade this software and install native Google services as I do on this device and I have a tons of video about this, you can check all of them. I already made a review of Huawei EMUI 11, so I will not go so deep inside the software of this device. Every time it's getting better and better with every update. My opinion is Huawei are stopping Android updates. We already speak about this because of Google ban and this device is stuck with Android 10 and just Huawei are start polishing this EMUI version so it's getting stable it's like i'm using an iphone everything is so smooth at the beginning when this device was released i have a small issue with my eyes and its display and that 90 hertz refresh rate but now with emui 11 huawei released that dynamic screen refresh rate which is balanced smoothness and battery life and it's not hurting my eyes as before we are waiting for harmony os i think it will only getting better and better about the battery what can i say about the battery guys this is probably the phone with the best battery i use i have mi 11 its battery it's not good i have samsung s21 its battery is even a full i have also iphone 12 the battery of iphone is good but the battery here on that device is just perfect i can make a full two days of use which is impossible with other devices with heavy game playing like genshin impact call of duty the battery lasts me a full day we have here 4200 milliamps of battery and of course we have a wire charging which is fast 40 watts we have fast wireless charging 27 watts of course you need huawei proprietary wireless and wire charge and we have fast reverse wireless charging again 27 watts and for some reason if you fully drain your battery you can go from 0 to 100 just for 50 minutes with huawei super fast 40 watts charging you can wirelessly charge your earbuds you can wirelessly charge your watch or whatever you want and of course like me you can wirelessly charge your p40 pro overnight just with a slow wireless charger that's a perfect battery as always expected from huawei of course huawei has its own app gallery and it's getting bigger every time new apps are appearing here almost all the apps that i need are now in huawei app gallery but if there is an app which you can't find here of course huawei release their own petal search engine which you can use for searching applications and everything that you need and just install it on your device and use it. Here is Petal Search and you can just search literally everything here. Let's just search for Facebook, which is an application you can't find on Huawei App Gallery. But of course from here, here it is, Facebook. It's finding in the apps and if you just tap install, it will find the APK somewhere and will download it for you and you just need to install it and log in from your device that's it petal search is a very powerful engine for your huawei device and people are start using now their devices without the need of google applications or google core services what about the performance and game playing personally i never have heating issues with this device or something else 
Maybe in benchmark test this CPU is not as fast as Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 or Samsung New Exynos but this CPU is capable for everything. You can run every game that you want, Genshin Impact, Call of Duty, PUBG Mobile, everything is running very smooth. Let's just check a game. And as every new device, this one has all the biometrics that you need, like fingerprint, in-display fingerprint, very fast, very reliable. I never have a problem with this fingerprint. It's very good and it's very well positioned. If you grab your device, just put your finger here and it will unlock it. Of course, this device has also a face unlock. It is almost like Face ID on the iPhones because here on that big notch we have an IR camera and this face unlock is working perfect always. It's working in the dark, it's working on almost every angle. So in Android world, probably this is the best face unlock which I use until today. Let's check it out also. And you can see it's open, slide to open, just like that. And even I was behind the camera. What about the size and in-hand feel? Probably I will repeat myself, but I think this device is feel perfect in the hand. You can see, this is Xiaomi Mi 11, this is Samsung Galaxy S21 and this is Huawei P40 Pro. And when you compare this device, this one P40 Pro is somewhere in the middle and suits perfect in your hand because S21 is smaller device, which I like. Mi 11 is bigger device. My hands are not so big, so it's not so comfy for me, but this one is suits in the middle and it's perfect in my hand. These curvatures on the back of the device are very good for your in-hand feel. For example, when you hold the device, it is a narrow device. It's not so wider like Mi 11 or the iPhones and the feel in the hand is very good. It's heavy device and feels premium and also these buttons are very clicky and very comfy. With the red accent on the power button, metal buttons and works very good. One of complaints which I have with this device is that compared to other flagships we miss here a stereo speakers. Loudspeaker is good, quality is good but it's not stereo speakers so we can't expect a quality like other devices like iPhones, like Samsung's and even Xiaomi with their latest flagship and their cooperation with Harman Kardon, but here we miss that. But we have something which I like. This is so-called in-display earpiece. When you speak, you can just put your ear wherever you want on the screen with a nice sound quality and enough volume to hear everything from your call. What about the camera? Guys, this is a difficult question, because don't get me wrong, camera is good, sensors are good. We have here a mind sensor, a 50 megapixel, omnidirectional PDAF with OIS. We have 12 megapixel of periscope telephoto lens, again with OIS on it. We have 5 pole optical zoom and of course we have 40 megapixel ultra wide sensor. And of course we have this small guy here, which is TOF. 3D sensor for depth information. We have here that updated RYYB sensor and my main problem is with that sensor. It takes very good photos at perfect situations but most of the time the photos are not my taste. They are too bluish and also we have different corrections in yellow color which is because of that RYYB sensor. This is something strange just I think this camera is not in par with other flagships. S21 this year has very improved camera. iPhones as always has very good camera. Just the main sensor and the color corrections is not my taste. What about the video? I just don't like the video which this phone makes. 
it's not in par with others s21 makes better video even xiaomi makes better video this guy here is not just making good video i don't like the video all right let's check some camera shots and comparison the iphone 12 and s21 I think I already said everything about the device but as a conclusion this is very good device with a good camera with perfect battery with almost everything that you need in 2021 fast wire charging fast wireless charging good display we have here air blaster we have here perfect design this is one very good device underrated and bared by Google because lax of Google mobile services but as you already know we have now plenty of ways to use Google on our Huawei phones or in your everyday use you are already fine without Google for one year everyone is used to without Google that's it guys that was my review after one year with Huawei P40 Pro if you like it don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my videos thanks for watching and have a nice day